For those of you watching on YouTube, I also post my videos on these sites. I hope you'll come join me. Embrace the YouTube alternatives and all tech. Hello everyone, I'm Nathan, and welcome to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Let's play. The Republic was weak after the Mandalorian War. The former allies uh, uh, used that to their advantage. Oh no! Okay, so let me look at the map real quick. Uh... Oh, okay. I see where I gotta go. I'm gonna head this way. I gotta head this way and convince this guy that I'm one of him. <gasps> Alright, so I guess I'll... I'll toss this on. Nah, look at me! That is really cool looking armor. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. <laughs> All right, and away we go. Disguises for the win. All right, now I'll ditch that disguise. I'll probably paint a target on my back if anything else. <sighs> and ditch. Okay. Oh, we're about to see some swoop gang action. Bex are nothing but bantha fodder. The Vulkers are the st strongest. Hey, Vulkers, that's a little bit similar to... What are those fucking things called in Mass Effect? I can't remember. Varen. Yeah. We'll teach you who's strongest. Yeah, I don't really have a stake in this. Uh, he can just go ahead and get shanked. That's fine. More strangers. Doesn't take that long to say more strangers. Oh, so y'all wanted to get grenaded today. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. Oh, shit, it missed. Oh shit, this is going really badly. Oh no! Damn it, I didn't heal quick enough. Ah uh, shit. Okay, uh, fuck. Okay, um. Yeah, let's get him first. Okay, good, he's down. And then. Let's see, I'll get him with another power blast now. Better, better heal. Oh fuck, I didn't heal fast. God damn it! Son of a bitch! I didn't heal quick enough, god damn it. Oh, they're gonna make me load. And I guess the autosave would be the closest. Son of a whore. <laughs> damn it. it my first death and it was dumb. Alright, let's try it again. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Alright, let's skip through some uh, dialogue. Alright, so won't waste my time with the grenade. It is... it will do me no good. 
Kipuna. Kavatu. Umpaku. Skip. Okay. All right. So let's see. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, shoot faster, dude. Oh, that was fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Ah, it's gonna be the same shit again. Okay, I'm gonna have to fucking run here. What? He was nowhere near me. Horse shit. Okay. Well, at least I can r run and use my... Wait, I have no med packs? Oh, yeah, I have 12. Okay. What the hell? What the hell is this shit? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, clearly we're coming at this the wrong angle. It's, oh, it's going to fucking exit me to the menu. God damn it. Okay, maybe this time we'll use some guns. <laughs> Although they're going to get up close to me, so that's bad. Ah, uh, fuck. Jeez. Oh, yeah, um... He should get out his... Uh, that's right, Doc. Uh -huh. He should get out his swords, too. That's right. Yeah, he should immediately get some blades out. Uh, let's see. Let's do long sword and short sword. Is there anything else he can equip that's helpful? Okay, nothing. What? Oh, yeah, and she can ditch that. Okay. Alright, I think we're a little bit more equipped for this fight. Okay, I kind of wish it would let me skip this. <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I can't fit- I can't skip the fight sequences. Alright, let's do it. Okay, it looks like... Uh, him first. Yeah, get in there, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, this is working way better. Nice, nice. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Oh, one more. In fact, I should probably switch to Karth and get him to do it, too. What? Nice! We kicked their asses. Let's loot the shit out of them. Yes! Vulcan shock stick. Eh, nah. Nah. Nah, it's not that... Not that big a deal. Uh, oh wait. Pick that up first. My pack, and more credits. All right, let's save. Yeah, might as well save over that one. Okay, it looks like the recording everything is still going well. That's good. Uh, oh, we got a bar here. Don't cause any trouble in Jap and Javier's cantina. You leave the problems and your attitude at the door. Let's go! When selecting feats and powers, read descriptions carefully so you can choose which ones you... Choose the ones you want. Well, no shit. And, uh, oh, yeah, I remember this place. 
Jeez, all the pock marks on the wall from people shooting each other. Hey there, not too many people come uh, come in here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fancy surroundings of the Upper City Cantina. Oh yeah, I, did, I missed this Upper City Cantina. But nobody up uh, there carries the kinds of Pazak cards that I can s that I sell. Uh, are you interested in purchasing some individual cards? Uh, bolster your presence? Nah. Uh, I'll be going. Suit yourself. If you ever uh, need to purchase some Pazak cards to strengthen your deck, just come speak to me again. Nah. Gelrude. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrude. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. Uh, I don't have a Pazak deck. You don't have a deck? Well, we can't play unless you have your own deck. Maybe you should go talk to Garuk in the Upper Cantina. He's looking to retire from the game, so he might sell you his deck. He'd probably even throw in a free lesson for you. Just come back and speak to me when you get your deck. Oh yeah, this dude. Go away. Hey, you know talk like that. We just want to say hi to Big Bad Bounty Hunter Car Calo Nord. Nah, this can't be Calo Nord. He's supposed to be tough. This guy ain't nothing but a runt. One. One. What does that mean? You be you be funny, tough guy. You. You know who we are, Kalo. We're members of the uh, Black Valkar gang. You don't uh, want to be get. Oh. <laughs> Me no understand. One, two. Why he count? He trying to count how many of us against him? It's, it's three against one, Kalo. What do you think those odds? You have something more to say? Three. Down they go. Yeah, and at this point, you can't beat this guy. Go away. Uh, I'll be going now. I saw you mop the uh, those back focus. Nice work. One. Uh, fine, I'll leave you alone. I'm not looking for a fight. I just want to talk. You don't scare me, Kalinar. Uh, yeah, no, you, you can't beat him at this point. He He's, yeah, he'll one-shot you. Fine, I'll get it. I'll leave you alone. Smart. Yeah, you, you we'll we'll meet later. We'll meet later when I've leveled up. <laughs> Fucking asshole. This game war is getting out of hand. Falkers aren't just attacking the hidden Beckers anymore. They go after everyone. Ah, yes. Okay, here we go. Huh? What? Holden. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my own species. Uh, you're the guy who put a bounty on Dia's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That witch tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Uh, so how do I collect this bounty? Uh, uh, I want the bounty on Dia's head removed. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm Uh, and why would she do that? Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at, at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. And I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Sounds like you got what you deserved. I want the, D I want the bounty on Dia's head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, 
I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Uh, here's two credits, guys. Uh, if you if you hire someone to kill Dia, it would look like you weren't man enough to do it yourself. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be more forward. Take take the bounty off Dia's head, or you're a dead man. You're threatening me. I work for Davit Kang. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own death warrant. Do us both a favor and don't waste my time with stupid threats. Uh. Talk to Dia, see if I can come up with the credits. I'll be going now. Uh, if you hire someone to kill Dia, it'll look like you weren't uh, man enough to do it yourself. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to Shit. pay. Either with a life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. Uh, shoot, I can't seem to... Fuck. Fuck, I can't just stab him? Fuck, here's 200 credits. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Damn it, I wanted to just fucking stab him. I should have been able to do that. I want, I want the stabby option. This is bullshit. Karth, get out of the way. <laughs> Don't bother me while I'm working. I get paid to dance, not talk. And she says the same thing. The musician is too busy to pay any attention to you. Cart! Get out of the way! <laughs> Keep having to demonically possess him to move, get him to move out of the way. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah! Right, her. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Fuck, I hate fake swearing, man. Hate it. Uh, oh wait, a uh, little girl should not be in bar. There's no place for a little girl, tuba face. Little girl needs lesson in manners. Sec boys. Solbar, a little help here. I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. I they, I just bought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise. So get over here. We don't want trouble with you. Our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend. I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. <laughs> Little girl, she, lucky she has a big friend. <laughs> a furry friend means something very different in this <laughs> in current year. <laughs> Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Vulcans, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Uh, how do a Wookiee and toilet... Uh, uh... How do a Wookiee and his Twi'lek uh, street urchin end up as best friends? Um, that's probably not the most polite way to say it. Uh, uh, let's see. I want to ask you some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Uh, tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate. But I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation. The Ebon Hawk. Oh, yeah. Space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and Fleet Exchange. 
Uh, yeah. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. I want to ask you some questions. Well, you came to the right person. Um... Yeah, I'll just go through the There's list. two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor, Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Why did Brezhik, uh leave the Hidden Vex? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Vex from the face of terrorists. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Uh, let's see. And then finally, Kalinord. Kalinord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davit to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'll be going for now. Going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <coughs> I'm finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Right, and then they eventually join my party. Uh, okay, uh, oh, I haven't been in this room yet. Whoa. What the f- What is this, dude? Jagacha? What do you want, human? You come here to stare at, uh, like others here on Terrace? You think we are strange? I mean... I want to ask you some questions. Questions? What kind of questions? What planet are you from? What kind of creature are you? In your one voice tongue, you would call call our kind pet... Parad... Paradwog? Um... I noticed your other head doesn't say much. Nothing that you would hear, at least. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what planet are you from? You couldn't say it. You don't have the ears of ears for it. Two voices cre voices create the name, and four ears to hear the true sound. Wow. <laughs> but your kind would call our home Sorjus, a small world. Uh, uh, far f off the Perli Perlimian trade route. Huh. Neat. Uh, I'll be going. Good. Leave us alone. It. We just want quarantine to end so we can go back home. Oh, man. God, I, I, I never thought that would be so fucking relatable uh, when I first when I first played this all those years ago. Who fucking knew, man? Uh, oh, no, haven't been here yet. Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my one shot at the big time. Uh, the big time. I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Oh, what's the use? There's no way Bib's going to hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dancing with, with a partner. Maybe I should just give up. Uh, why don't you have a partner? 
My last partner left. She always trying to upstage me, even though it was obvious that I had ten times her talent. When I, I finally told her that she stormed off, I guess the truth hurts. My partner before that was even worse. If I wasn't tripping over her, uh, over his staggering feet, I was ducking under his flailing arms. I, I ditched him at, after less than a week. Uh, maybe I could be your partner? I admit I'm getting desperate. I'd hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to pair up with some random passerby. How do I know you're any good? Uh, uh, I'm good enough to get through your audition. Well, if, uh, you do have a certain look about you. Confidence you're moving, I guess. <sighs> I guess I'll... I'll ha you'll have to do. But I'm warning you, don't screw this up. Mr. Shema, I've got my partner. I'd like uh, to audition for you again. Okay, Lynn, you've got one more chance. I'll give you a minute uh, to get your partner set up and then, uh, see what you've got. Okay, I've got time to watch you for three more dances. Make them count. Okay, just follow my lead. Remember, the more complicated our steps, uh, the closer uh, we uh, dance, the more it will impress uh, Bib. Uh, but don't get too close if you, you can't handle it. I don't need some uh, clumsy oaf tripping me up. Try not to screw this up for me, okay? Okay, and I forget what I get in the... by doing this. Uh... Uh, okay, we side. I think I can't remember if I get a weapon or what ends up happening here, but mm, simple but nice. Just remember, she, the Starlight Entertainers don't want simple. We're looking for a top performers in the galaxy. Look, I know you're trying to be careful of screwing up, but you've got give me a little bit more than that. We've seen thousands of dancers. We need him to see something that'll impress him. See the difference. So watch. Simple steps. Jump in. Uh, behind her, beside her, um, uh, yeah, probably not that. Ugh. God, NPCs. <laughs> good, good. One, two, three. Nice tempo. Looking good, Lynn. Okay, one more dance to go. Bib looks happy. As long as we, I don't screw it up. I think, I think we've got it. Follow me, and please just keep it simple. This quest doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, dance beside her. Uh, very close to her face. Uh. Uh, Lynn's audition by taking a dive. Oh. I mean, if, if I'm trying to look for a fucking war asset, why would I be doing this? <laughs> good. Very good. Feel the music. Let it flow through you. Well, what do you think? Do I get the job? Do I... Uh, you want me to dance some more? I can do another one if you want me to. Relax, Evelyn. You made it. You've got the job. Welcome to the Starlight Entertainers. I made it? This is incredible. I don't believe it. Believe it, kid. You're in. Now you need to get... Uh, now we need to get you fitted for your outfits. We need to start uh, start rehearsals. You've got contracts to sign. Let's go. Busy, busy. That's the life of a star. Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I'd give you a big hug, but... Well, frankly, you're a little beneath me now. Like Bib said, I'm going to be... <laughs> what up, bitch? If you've ever traveled the galaxy and you see the Starlight Entertainers perform, stop by and ask for Lynn. I'll see if I can get you some free tickets. So I got fucking nothing out of that? I got experience points? God damn it. Davik is up to something. He's bringing. I'll stick with the bounties Davik puts out. They're usually less dangerous than the government funded contracts. Oh. Hold it. What do you want now? This whole thing with Dia is over. So we don't have anything to discuss. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk to this asshole. But you ain't the only girl in this place. 
I guess I'll go back to enjoying the dancers. Oh, he's Zax. I've not seen you here before, human. You are new to the bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here, legal or legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. Or are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm the one of the Dav Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. Gurney said I should speak to you about the Rakul serum. Oh, no. Fuck that. Um, you work for Davik? Not officially, no. I work for the bounty office. But Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him. And for me to post his bounties. Uh, government office? Is that even legal? I used to have to keep our relationship a secret. But since the Sith arrived, no, I, nobody cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. But enough talk. Back to business. This is one of... This is the bounty office. So we should talk bounties. Or are you looking for information? Um... I need some information. I have information, but it's not free. For a fee, I can tell you everything you want to hear about the street gangs, Davik, other stuff, but first you have to come up with a hundred credits. I can't afford that much. Then we don't do business. Davik pays me to earn credits, not answer questions. If you don't pay, then I don't talk. Maybe you could talk, take some bounties and earn some money? Then if you can afford it, uh, my information, you're you're happy, I'm happy, Davik gets his cut, it works out for everyone. Tell me about the bounties. There's two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin, the other is Bandak Starkiller. He's a famous death, uh, deathmatch duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. Oh yeah, I want to do these. That's right. I see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. But not all bounties are dangerous. Uh, Davik got some special contracts. One for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. The other for a man named uh, Largo, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Matri Matric. He used to work for Devic and then he betrayed the exchange. Now Devic wants him dead. I'll put all the this information in your data pad. I want more details on the bounties you're offering. Uh, uh let's see. All the information is your data pad already, but if you want, but if you don't want to look there, then I guess I could fill you in. Who do you want to know more about? Uh, I want to know more about Matrix. Davik is very interested in this bounty. Matrix used to work for Davik. He was important, but he was there a long time. He saw lots of things that it, it would be wise to it, it was wise to keep quiet about. Then one day he betrayed Davin. He went to the Tetris author authorities and testified at trials against the exchange. Lots of people were arrested and Davik's operations shut down for a while. It cost Davik thousands and thousands of credits to get business back on track, and he lost lots of good people. Of course, he's not about to let Matrick get away with that. But didn't the government protect Matrick after the trials? They hid Matrick for a while, but when the Sith took over, they shut down the witness protection program. Uh, they shut the witness protection program down. It's expensive, and the Sith don't care if I, if Matrick died. Okay, I'll be going now. Goodbye, human. You come back if you want to earn credits. Bounties pay good. 
And remember to come and see me if you want information. Yeah, the uh, yeah the, the match fights are really neat, actually. I do want to do those. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm actually surprised by the <laughs> the lack of progress that I've made tonight. I'm a lot less far along than I thought I would be, which, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not exactly in a hurry, but it's just a kind of reminds me. It's just like, wow, there's, there is a lot to this game. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you. For more videos and live streams, I do both of those on several different platforms. Links to that and more in the description. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.